Hey, welcome back, guys. This is a really short video showing something very specific and very trite. Hope hey, guys, this is just a little teeny video. I get a lot of questions from folks asking, do I like the 3M Quick Connect adapter or do I prefer the spindle nut? I personally can change this pad, flip it over just as fast on a spindle nut, old school. Now, this one's extended. You remember that from yesterday. I've got two of them on there plus another 5 8 inch nut. So disregard what you see. Just understand there's a typical 3M spindle nut on there. I usually crank it on pretty, pretty tightly. Um, and I run this machine constantly with a spindle nut. This one, I use the 3M Quick Connect adapter. Um, there are some benefits. There's also benefits if you happen to have two buffers. This is how I run my setup. One is dedicated for uh, screw-on wheels and screw-on pads. The other one is dedicated to Quick Connect pads. The nice thing about the quick connect pads is I can do some interesting things. So let me put this on pause and I'll show you. If I'm working with my quick connect pad and I want to take it off to maybe do some foam compounding, all I have to do is press the detent button, lock it in, and then just roll it off. So the 3M adapter stays in there. Then, if I'd like, I can just put my foam backing plate on Whoops. without any troubles whatsoever and because I don't have a spindle nut I've lowered the center of gravity of this buffer so that I have a little bit more control over it if I want to switch back to the quick connect it's just a matter of spinning it off grabbing my 3M quick connect with the pad already on it popping it on and if I need to switch to another pad Then I switched to another pad. Anyway, that's all I had. Just wanted to show you. There, there's a benefit if you use them that way. If not, it's just as good as the regular spindle nut. In my personal opinion, nothing else. Well, there you go, guys. Now you know. I don't really have a preference. I like them both equally.